So concluding our master's week here, I thought it'd be fun just to talk about some things I noticed and, and 10 things that you'll never see at Augusta National Golf Course ever again, or ever for that matter, 10 things. And these are uh, things that uh, somebody told me to watch out for and look at and some things I noticed on my own. So I was blown away at some of these and I'll share them with you. 10 things we are never going to see, you'll never see at Augusta National Golf Course. Some you know, and whatever you don't hear on the list, comment below and tell me things that you have noticed or things you believe, you know, just don't, don't exist there. And we'll start off on number 10. Obviously, we all know this. It's going to be your cell phone. These guys are not allowed on property. What was super cool and it was weird was first time I went there was on Monday and no phones. So you have no communication with your crew that you're with. And it, I mean, I went back to like when I was growing up as a kid, junior high, high school, whatever, uh, college, when you, there's no way to get a hold of anybody. So we, we were like, okay, if we get separated, this is what we do. We meet at this location. Wherever we get separated, we'll meet at the nearest, you know, uh, concession stand to where we last saw each other. Uh, when you leave the uh, merchandising tent, you go and you just wait. And you're okay. I guess we're just waiting for uh, for so and so. Where is he? And you just wait there until you find them. I mean, it was it was very awkward. And you're you're just kind of reaching in your your pocket for your phone it doesn't exist. No phones allowed on property. And I'll tell you what, I absolutely loved every minute of it. And I think more events should be exactly the same. No cell phones at Augusta National. You could bring a camera on practice days, but no cell phone. No, you, They don't want any way for you to be able to transmit audio or video while you're on property. Love it. Great job. Okay. This was cool. I, I didn't know it until I heard a friend of mine tell me that who is a volunteer and he was volunteering that day and somebody did this and he say, Hey, 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 no laying down. You can't lay down in the grass. You go to these other golf tournaments and dudes are sprawled out. They're laying down. You cannot lay down. You can sit down you cannot lay down. They don't want you taking a siesta there uh, off, the, off the fairway, on the rough, under a tree. It's not siesta time. So no laying down on Augusta National property. And I love that. I love it. You never know, dude just might be passed out. <laughs> Too many uh, master's beers. All right, another thing which is super cool. And they'll kick you out for this if you're at, there at the tournament. Uh, no running. You cannot run to get in position. You cannot run to chase a player. There's no running. If you go there, know this, do not run anywhere. They will warn you and they'll punch your ticket. If you get it punched again, you're out. You're out. 86, off property. Do not, whatever you do, do not run. Also, I love that, but they don't want people getting hurt. They, they've got a certain, you know, decorum, certain level of uh, standard they have there uh, at Augusta National, and that's great. I wish more tournaments would do stuff like this. You know, TPC Scottsdale in Arizona, the running, you, you have to be able to run or, or you forget it. But I like the no running policy. Good job, Augusta. Good job on that. Another thing you will not see there are your typical cart paths. There's no cart paths. This is what kind of blew my mind. I was like, where's the cart path? Like even the, the working carts, there are st like streets. It looks like a road. Like if you're in a little quaint old town neighborhood, there are streets, but they are so there. It's not like on the side of the fairway or anything like that. There's none of that because obviously it's a walking caddy course and Every now and then they will allow golf carts for certain events they have out there or certain people they allow uh, to play, but uh, you would drive in the rough or on the fairway. Like at, uh, when I played Riviera 
you would drive, they want you driving the cart on the fairway. Don't drive in the rough, they would say. So everybody's got their different thing. But here, there's no standard, typical cart path. There are roads and, which are so far off behind. It's not like if you miss a fairway, it will hit a road. That won't happen. You have to really, maybe a Bryson DeChambeau miss would, uh, would get one of the roads, but nobody else. All right, so there's no cart paths. Here's another thing you will not see on the telecast, on television, or when you're there. There are no, and shocking, there are no beer cans. There's no beer cans. Everything is served in the master's green or clear plastic cup, which, by the way, you keep. And so people collect these. So you drink a, a beverage, you put your cup in your backpack or your bag, you keep it. There are no beer cans. I mean, just think how much money they could make if they had like a sponsorship with like Bud Light or somebody. No, they don't do that. No, no, no. They don't want anything to be seen other than the Masters logo. Good job. I like that. Again, most people are after the cash. Augusta National is not. They're after uh, just promoting their own brand. Smart. Some people are just smarter than other people. That's just the way it is. And they know what's going on. Here's what was shocking to me. Number five on the list is this. And I was like looking specifically for this. Normally when you go to a golf tournament, all right, there are your broadcast trucks, all right? And what they do is they have to hardwire every camera and everything to, to where it, the position it's in. And these wires and cables run all over the, the place. Well, this does not happen there. There are no wires. Now you see a, okay, if something's plugged in, the wire goes like just underground. It's like all hardwired for television, for audio, for everything. The microphone is sitting there, you know, where you hear that nothing and that super echo and the birds chirping. That microphone is there in the ground waiting and the wire goes underground. Everything is like hardwired. I was shocked by that. Couldn't believe it. I was looking everywhere. I'm like, there's no dang wires running around. The whole place was like built for a tournament. Phenomenal. All right, here's another thing you're not gonna see. You'll never see like broken tees. A lot of times you go to these uh, tournaments, obviously every golf course there's tees stuck in the par threes and the ground and that, you know, there's a little box there, you flick your tee in. There's none of that. There's, a vol there's vo many volunteers on every hole. After the pros come through, they hit their shots, they grab everything they clean it up they're filling divots they're making it perfect if there's a little pine needle out of place they pick it up and they move it to the side there's a dude on the green wisping sand away off the green if you were in the bunker it when every group crumb comes through it's like a brand new tea box it's like a brand new green the fairways are everything's perfect you're not going to see a tea a broken tea none of that there augusta national all right Top three here. This was cool. This was probably one of the things that impressed me the most was the fact there's not one single outhouse on the property. There's no porta johns, there's no porta potty, there's no green, smelly, uh, plastic house, little container that you have to get in to uh, relieve yourself. There's none of that. All right, those are gross. Everybody hates them and they're lined up and you've got that little foot pump where you try to wash your hands off and then you're chick. None of that exists. Every, and there's plenty of restrooms. That's what's awesome is everywhere you go. One, you're not gonna see the restroom anywhere on television because they're back behind the trees, way outside of uh, the view. Even if you're walking the fairways, you don't even see the restrooms, which are these homemade, not homemade, but they're, they're these, structures that are built in perfect bathrooms as if you were in some like fancy uh, resort and there's a restroom off the beach of this five-star resort. No outhouses. Good job, Augusta. I mean, they built that place for a tournament. It's like built. It's Disneyland of golf. I mean, Disney, that's even like, it's way better than Disneyland, by the way. Way better. hundred times better but I could see why people get addicted to Disneyland, those who are really into that kind of thing. I'm not. But if this is like, if you're into golf, 
I, now I get it, but not one outhouse. Thank you. Thank you. It was a great experience. You want to go to the bathroom because it's so nice. And there's people working in there, cleaning it, making it perfect. Never see an outhouse. It's weird. Like normally you go to a golf tournament, you're like, ah, I don't want to have to use the restroom. Here you're like, can I use the restroom? Where is it? I want to use everyone here. Fantastic. All right. Top two. Top two things you'll never see at Augusta National. My buddy said, Matt, here's what you won't see. And I'm like, you are smoking something because you're, every golf course in the world has this, these there, and it's impossible not to have them. So uh, I'm going to find it, find them, and prove you wrong. And I couldn't do it. There is not one squirrel on the property. Zero. Not only do they kick you out if you run, they've kicked every squirrel out of Augusta National. No squirrels. Not in a tree, not a pie, not down low. They're not uh, running over or under the fence. They're, for whatever, however they did it, they ha have eradicated every single squirrel off the property. Thank you very much. Those little rascals, they steal your little pimento cheese sandwich. Not there. No way. No, no how. Zero squirrels on property. Now, number one thing you will never see at Augusta National, it is um, Phil Mickelson. Oh my gosh. That's what I know. I, I hope it's not true. I hope it's not true. I just, I fear that is the number one thing we're never going to see at Augusta National again. I hope, I hope they didn't eradicate Phil like the squirrels, but I fear that our our days of seeing Phil at Augusta National are over. It's sad. I know it's a sad way to end this little podcast, but it's sadly, I hope it's not true. Let me know your thoughts. One, about Phil. Two, about everything else that, uh, or other things you have noticed or you think you would never see at Augusta National Golf Course.